Now one thing, usually when making a table like this, you want the top to be a little different. You want that to be kind of a header. So one way we can select all of these is by clicking in the first one, holding down the shift key, and then clicking in the last one, and that will highlight all of them. That Again, that is you click in the first cell you want to highlight, and then click in the last one, and then that will highlight all of them in between. By holding the shift key down and clicking, you highlight all of them in between. So click, hold down shift, click again, and you can highlight all of them. Now this is useful if you want to say change the background color. So again, you click, hold down shift, and then click again, and that selects all of the cells in a row. Now to change the background, we would click on Table, and then go to Table Properties. So again, that's Table and Table Properties. Now you have to be aware that if you click outside of the table like I just did, it will deselect those cells. So I want to talk a little bit about what we can do with a table once we've inserted it into a page. So if we click on table and then go to table properties, we get all of these options. Now I want to go through each of these. Table border, that is the borders around the individual cells. So as you can see here, there are lines surrounding the cells and they are colored black. Now if we hit table and go to table properties, we can change those. We can change it to any of these colors and if we hit custom, of course, we get this slider and we can change them that way. So I'm going to click on these and I'm going to make them red. I like red. I think it's kind of fun. This is one point. That is one point wide. That's a sort of archaic measurement system. We'll maybe talk about that a little bit later. For now, it doesn't really matter. Just know that one point is kind of small. If we go three, it's going to be pretty large. You can see that it's kind of a big table, kind of bright, a little bit harsh. So we'll go click on table, table properties change that to something nicer, say this soft-ish green color, I like green better than red, and then that will change the background or the border of the cells. Again, if you click Table, Table Properties, then in the first little drop-down box under Table Border, you can change the color. And next to it, you can change the size. Now underneath that, it says Cell Background Color. Now, with nothing selected, if we change this, it will change the background of just the cell that has the cursor in it. Now, suppose you wanted to change all of these, like say you wanted to create a header for this table. The way you would do that is you'd click in the first cell to put the cursor there, and then you'd hold down the shift key, and you'd click in the one all the way to the right on the top row. And that selects all of the cells in the top row. The other thing you can do is if you click in this cell and then click in the one right next to it, it will highlight that one and then the one at the end. Something else to be aware of is once you have all three of these highlighted, say you wanted to highlight all the way down to the bottom, if you hold down shift and click in the bottom cell, it will highlight the rest. I know that's a little bit confusing. It's kind of a lot of information all at once, so let's go through that one more time. So if you click in the first cell, then hold down shift and click in the cell all the way to the right. It highlights the first cell, the one with the cursor in it, and every cell in between to the last one you clicked on. So again, to highlight that, if you click in, say, this middle cell, hold down shift and then click on the bottom, it will highlight this entire column. One other thing you can do, say you wanted to highlight all of it, you can click and drag and it will highlight the entire thing. If you recall, if we hold Control on a PC or Command on a Mac and press A, it will also highlight everything. When we highlight everything, if we go to Table, because we have more than just the table selected, we cannot change the table properties that way. So it's better to, say, click in the upper left cell, hold down Shift, and then click in the lower right cell, and that will select the entire thing. For now, though, we're primarily concerned with creating a header. So if we click Table, after highlighting the entire top row, click Table Properties, Cell Background Color, and then pick this soft gray color, you can see that this entire top row has changed. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this border back to a black color, primarily because I'm 
I've worked with a number of people who had issues seeing colors, so I try to leave things sort of monochromatic, just because that way it's visible to everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and change that back to black by clicking on this little square under Table Border and Table Properties under the Table Menu. So again, I'm going to cancel this. Once I've highlighted the entire table, if I click on the Table Menu, go to Table Properties, and then change the Table Border Color by clicking on the square under Table Border and change that back to the black color. There, that's actually a little bit better. It's easier on the eyes, it's easier to see.